Hello, it's Deanie, and today I have a very special video because I have a very special guest with me. Because I am doing the BookTube boyfriend <coughs> tag, which was originally created by Mayana from Little Wolf Reads. So I'm going to do the questions that they had, and then I have some extra questions to see if I can throw off my guest. So as you can see, this isn't Skyrim or Fallout. And my guest here will explain, one, who he is. Two, what the heck he's playing, and then three, why he decided to say yes to this video. So, special guest. Hi, I'm not Dini. I am Dini's boyfriend, my name is Cameron, and I am playing Destiny 2, because I love the game, even though it makes me very upset at life. And why did you say yes to this? I was forced to do it. No, you weren't. And what do you want me to do with Destiny one day? You have to play this game with me this fall when it comes out for free for you to play. Except... I won't. So, anyways, we're going to start with the questions and see if he can do this without also making a mess of his Destiny game. So first is, how long have we been dating? Oh, this is a tricky question. Five years. <gasps> Correct. Good job. You're starting off strong. You're not failing at this video yet. Not yet. Second, are you a reader? I read occasionally. I don't read a million books a month or even really like one a month. What do you read? Mostly manga because it's easy and has pictures and I like pictures. I don't really like reading a bunch of super long massive books but I do like fantasy type things, Lord of the Rings, Wheel of Time, Brent Weeks. I really liked his Night Angel trilogy. Um, those are like the act most recent actual books I've read so yeah, that's sort of my shtick, my that's genre of choice. That's your shtick. Okay. Third question. What Hogwarts house are you in? I hate this question. <laughs> I'm Hufflepuff. <laughs> Why are you a Hufflepuff? Because the stupid quiz is dumb and no, it is wrong. No, it's not. It was accurate because you're, <laughs> you, you would be in the kitchen all the time because you like food. I do like food, but that's a very poor reason to pick me for Hufflepuff. <laughs> you're also... You're also a sweetie on the inside, I guess. I feel like I got picked for Hufflepuff because I didn't fit anywhere else, which is why everyone gets put in Hufflepuff. You're not you're brave, just, you're you not smart, your you're not people. cunning. <gasps> there are those things on this, but they're just too sweet to do anything. <laughs> no, they it, they are just the rests. I'm pretty you sure. Are I'm being pretty mean sure. To yourself right now. I'm pretty sure Helga Hufflepuff said she will take the rest because no one else wants them. Like that's a verbatim quote, word for word. Wow, apparently she was really rude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, which one, which Hogwarts house am I in? Uh, I'm pretty sure you're either Gryffindor or Ravenclaw. It was a while ago when we took the test, and I am not 100% on that. I got Gryffindor. Do you believe that I should be a Gryffindor, or which one do you think I should be in? Probably more fitting for a Ravenclaw. That Why? or Slytherin, just because you're backstabbing and conniving, and you're not, no, you're not those things. You're a very smart, thoughtful, intelligent person. Uh, you, you always just want seem... brownie points right now. <laughs> and this is where the video ends. <laughs> no, keep keep giving me compliments. It's, it's that's, nice. that's not the point of this video. Ask, ask me booktube things. That's why we're here. No, I have a list of questions. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fine, we'll move on because you don't want to give me any more compliments. Fourth, not now. <laughs> fourth question. What is my most anticipated book? Oh. I literally mentioned this in a video. Yeah. Literally, you know my favorite authors, too. Uh, the, the Lee Bardugo, V.E. Schwab, um, yeah, but the, the lady who does the Six of Crows. That's Lee Bardugo. Oh, okay. Um, you didn't even say my favorite author. That's fine. Well, it's not what I was anticipated, but... <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you guess it, which, which author it's from? It's the lady on the top shelf. That, okay, I have a top shelf of my favorite authors, but there's several on the top it's, shelf. it's not schwab she's the one on the, on the right correct it's, uh, it's the one in the, it's one on the middle it's the middle one yes what do you i don't know her name without do you looking remember at any it. of the books no you just know the placement of them i know the placement okay it's libra prey she well, there we book, go libra prey coming out next year like in february but the book i'm looking forward to this year is by lee bardugo and it's ninth house does that ring a bell for you at all no is that no. not the... I thought you were looking forward to the uh, next part of the 
Three Dark Crowns? Yeah, the very poorly named and titled book series, because the numbers don't match the actual sequence of the series. He's very bitter about this, but Very it's fine. bitter. I mean, yes, I'm also excited about that, but it's not my most anticipated read. So you failed that question. We're going to move on. Oh, well. There's like 30 of these things. Like, I still got time to, to pull it out. What is the last book I read? Are we talking actual reading or audiobook? Do not even... That's reading! One is reading, one is... I missed that shot so bad. One is reading, one is listening. I'm an awful person and differentiate the two. But it still counts as reading, correct? There, Please don't make people hate no, my book No, I'm not going to make them hate it. I'm just saying, if you want me to, like, the last thing I saw you physically reading, um, probably Wild Kings, but you listen to things at work and... No, I do ebooks at oh. work. It's you, sneakier you, that way. Well... Like, I can't track that, because I'm not sure what you're doing in your free time okay, there. Okay, well then, fine. The last physical book I Wild read... Wild Kings. Kings of the Wild. That one. I got two I got two parts of the name. Is that good enough? No. 50%? But the <laughs> no. But the actual last book I read was Into the Drowning Deep, which I read mainly on ebook at work. Oh, that's the Weird Mermaid one, that's yes, right. Yes, the Killer Mermaid book. Yeah, the one where I, I, couldn't, do I couldn't do it. He's afraid of the ocean. Yeah. Book so. set in the deepest part of the darkest part of the ocean with killer mermaids. That ain't cool. It was a good book. Yeah, but it's not cool for me. Well, that, you, you're scared you it's fine. I, I am. What is my favorite book? Why are you asking these questions? Because <laughs> I, I asked if you wanted to see these questions beforehand. I, I did. I did. I Which said no. One? You still don't even remember my favorite author. Uh, it's Libra Bray. Oh, now you remember yeah. the name. Yeah, I always knew it. What are you talking about? Now you're... Okay, fine. Of my of her books, which one's my favorite? Um... <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure of the names of any of Libba Bray's okay, books. Okay, is it part of a series or is it a standalone book of hers? She does those things? Yes, she does. <laughs> um, no, she does neither. She writes songs. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me rephrase that. She does both of those things? I thought she only did series books. I'm pretty sure I don't... I'm not... I don't know anything about your Libra Bray collection. I thought it was all just like, no. hey, here are a bunch of books she does in series and not standalone things. No, she has a standalone. And her standalone... She has two standalones. And one of them is my favorite book, and it's going bovine. At least you knew do her. They, do they turn into cows? No, he has the cow disease. Like the mad, mad cow? cow? Yeah, he has oh, mad That's cow. messed up. It's a good book. No, but Mad Cow is messed up. You, once yeah, you get it, you're dead. Prion, dise Prion diseases are really messed up. Oh, that was a spoiler <laughs> alert. Oh, rip. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even read the book. I, I'm just going in. Mad Cow disease. No one survives Mad Cow disease. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry for the spoilers. It's fine. No one reads that book, but it's my favorite. <laughs> Moving on. What is my favorite book genre? Book genre? YA? That's not a genre. Why is not a genre? It's a category. Oh, then probably fantasy Correct. and YA fantasy for being specific here. Good job. You did that one good. How much time do I usually spend reading? Probably like two thirds of your work day is spent reading when you're not doing actual work. <laughs> we don't work. need to call me out on that. Um, <laughs> we, don't need, we don't need to do that. How about when I'm at home? When you're at home, probably like... Maybe an hour a day. It's really hard to That's tell because I'm, I'm I'm not like around you that frequently. I'm usually in here playing games. Here but yeah, see. probably like forty five minutes to an hour. Here we it feels see. about right. Here we see how he abandons me. I get home from work. And then you play Destiny. I play Destiny all day. Yes. Okay. Well, fine. What is one thing you notice about my reading habits? Awkward silence. You have a problem. I have a problem. What does that even mean? You always demand that I buy you books. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't demand it's, it. It's almost I like, don't demand it. oh, this is going to be fun. Um, hey, I'm here by myself now. This is going to be fun. Yeah. I'm not going to complete this one. but That's fine. Yeah, keep talking questions. Keep telling me questions. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> so nice of you. Okay. Oh, hey, New Jordan. The 10th ten question. Ten We're how, not many, even how many are these? There's 22 because I added to the list that was originally 13. Okay, then. So, number 10. What book should I read sometime soon? This is a perfect question after your last video. Yeah. 
So in Deanie's last video where she did the Goodreads thing, there's a, there's a book in there that she made fun of for the cover about a weird looking small child. It's a weird looking small child cover. So the Song of the Lion a series by Tamora Pierce, I've been telling you to read that for a while now. I don't remember this. I remember Tamora Pierce, but not that book. So when you got to that, I'm like, hey, here's this book I told you to read, and you had no idea what it was. <laughs> I don't listen. Yeah, you don't listen. But that's one thing. Uh, okay, you what, still what? need to read the Night Angel series by Brent Weeks. You have the nice, special, fancy, signed edition of it. Yeah. And it's just sitting on a shelf. Correct. Not even your bookshelf. It's on my bookshelf. That's not... That's our bookshelf. That's mostly my books. Like... Yeah, because they're just... <laughs> they're away from the public eye because I just... They're not as pretty as my books. Oh, that's so rude. Don't talk bad about JoJo. We don't need to mention that your books, those books. <laughs> I love okay. JoJo so much. We don't, no. We'll, we'll, no, 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 no. No, no, next, no, no. Next question. What book would you consider reading? Let's go with, like, what book would you consider reading that I have read? Is terror, as much as I just said I wouldn't read it, probably the Killer Mermaids one, because that actually sounds really interesting. Yeah, it's really science-y and horror. Horror, horror, horror. Horror, horror. So that one? Yeah. Okay. Because as much as I don't like things like super deep spooky water or Cthulhu things coming to steal my soul or deep dark space type things, I love those kind of books, so I'd probably be down to read that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I, I just don't like how a lot of your books are like weird fan fiction Harry Potter romance things. That was one book. Ah. You can... Don't be mean to my books. Okay, next question. Superhero or supervillain? Talking about you or me? I actually don't know. It's just a superhero or supervillain. So yeah, sure. Which one of us this is the superhero and which one's the supervillain? You're the superhero because you what do the? dishes for me. I don't have to do dishes. <laughs> okay. And I'd probably be a supervillain because anytime I play a game or do anything that involves me making moral choices or being the good or bad guy in a situation... I feel like I always end up doing the bad guy things. So you're just rude. Yeah, so here's another thing I've been telling you to do for a while. Play Mass Effect or Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. You are always asked to make some sort of moral choice. Basically every five minutes in game, be the good guy or the bad guy. And unless I'm specifically trying to get a certain ending or a certain goody reward, whatever, most of my, disor deci uh, yeah, you, my yeah. decisions yeah, or she, choices... She, 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 are either morally gray or just outright no you're you're an awful person for doing that why would you do that so yeah that's that's probably where i'd come in nice and you just do dishes for me so i have to do it so that's my personality i yes. do dishes <laughs> thanks anytime anytime okay next is not really like a well i'm gonna ask you if you know these booktube terms and to explain them if you can. So Are one, these... they're not that hard. So one, what is BookTube? It's like YouTube, because it's on YouTube, and you talk about books. Yeah. So it is a subsection of YouTube that is devoted to books and reading and all of that ilk. Correct. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Two points. No, Two you points. get one point. Oh, that's, that's, these points Next are Next one. <laughs> reading slump. What's a reading slump? Um, I am familiar with slumps of all sorts. That's where you're in the mood to just not read. But for me, it tends to be the mood to do anything. I don't want to. I don't want to eat. I don't want to sleep. I just want to exist in my own little bubble. So probably think of that, but for like books. You don't want to do anything. You just go dark, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's that fun millennial humor everyone talks about. Self-deprecation. All over the place. One, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that one, not the real serious kind. Okay. 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 <laughs> Next, what is what is a TBR and what does uh, it stand for? TBR. It's the, it, saying what it is and what it stands for is like the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So it's to be read. Yay. So it is a list of things that you have on your list to be read. Yes. Which for you is like 10 books. People that have are, more. People well, have more. Yeah, but like those are currently on our shelves, not I want to get this book and read this book People sometime. People have more. Like, don't judge me. I mean, you're going to judge me. I'm going to judge all the book yeah, dude for that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, my boyfriend's spilling some tea. Good job. Okay, next what, what, one. What does spilling tea mean? Is that some millennial thing I don't know about? <laughs> we'll just move on. It's okay. fine. We don't need... 
We don't need to go into that. We'll just let you stay in your little wonderland of not knowing the cool the slang. Cool, 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 cool. cool. What is a wrap up? Hmm. I'm gonna assume it's like any other kind of wrap up where you sort of go over everything that's been done. So like you review, I don't know. Um. Arts. What what is what is her her full channel's name? Art, Art books, books and other things. Yeah. I feel like what she does where, like, she'll do, like, a weekly review of, like, her reading thing where, like, she summarizes what she read. That's a... Oh, that could have been... Oh, no. That could have been another term. That's a reading vlog. Oh. Which, I mean, it summarizes what you did, but it summarizes what you did for that week. A wrap-up is usually at the end of the month you do, like, my June wrap-up, and it's all the books that you read in June, and you do, like, a quick overview. All right. So, it, it's different, but similar. As most things are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's a readathon? Uh, you you get a bunch of books of like a similar topic or genre or theme, and then you just read them like a marathon of book. Yeah. Here's the point. Good job. What's an arc? What does it stand for? So I I know I said I wouldn't look at the list, but I saw it was all capitalized, which I feel like is a very specific decision. Uh, yeah, so it's... not like a character arc or things like that. Correct. So I have no idea. It stands for an advanced reader copy. So book. like a book you get before it hits store shelves. Yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know things. That one, that one was a no. I don't know how many points you got. You got like. Two. I'm at like five. You got like two. I'm gonna take a look. What are the questions? Uh, I know BookTube, Slump, TBR, You're and a killed. readathon. That's You're like killed. It's like five. You get two points. They're like half points. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that's it for like the main questions that were like in the original tags. Now I'm going to ask him some other questions and see how he answers them. So what did you think when I first started my channel? What, what do you mean? What did I think? Like, what are you like, like thoughts like, on your channel? Thoughts of you doing it? Yeah. Like when I first started where you're like, what's this girl doing? I mean, it was kind of like, I know you've been watching it for a while, and you talked about how you thought it'd be neat to do. I can't put myself out here like this, which is why I'm surprised I'm even doing this right now. So, cool. I'm proud of you. Yeah, but you doing it is like, well, I couldn't do that myself, so cool, you're doing something great, and put yourself out there for the internet to look at, review, judge, critique. Mainly judge. Like, yeah. we, we, we judge you. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't deal with that. Also, I just noticed the mouse is literally in the middle of the screen. I don't notice the mouse. Where's the mouse? Right there. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh that's now fun. everyone's gonna notice that. Okay. Well, we're almost done with questions. Please don't look at the mouse. <laughs> Sorry, that's my I fault. Can't look, I can't look. Can't look. I know. <laughs> that is your fault. That's we're on all your my computer fault. this time. Okay. Yep. Do you watch my channel? I do. I okay. Well, I mostly listen to videos because I usually remember only to do it when I'm at work. And it's just easier to have YouTube minimized in the background doing stuff as opposed to, like, actively up and watching and paying attention. Because my work gets upset if you're not actually working and watching YouTube videos all day. And I don't want to be fired. So Please don't be fired. Don't get fired. No. Nope. That's a bad thing. Yep. What is your favorite video of mine? Or, like, one of the series I do? Love the Ugly Fish video. <laughs> Love it best that one's the that was your favorite one so yeah far? before that i really loved the narwhal videos but that ugly fish thing <laughs> oh, i love that ugly fish so much Aww. oh yeah now i just need one more who are my favorite booktubers can you remember channel names <laughs> do you want like people you interact with or like the ones that you like watching all the time because Both. because i mean uh, people i interact with i also watch their content. okay so there's art books and other things not Andrea. Not Andrea. <laughs> and it's art books and other things, not arts books and Shut other up. things. I messed it up once. Um, Pints. I can't remember the second half of his channel name because you only refer to him as Pints. Yeah. Pints and paperback. There you go. Um, Can you remember others, though? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> we'll just leave it as a list of two for your for your sake. I mean, like, I could, you if, if you gave me, like, a list of, like, names, I, I'd be mm -hmm. like, I've seen you watch this person or that person, 
Like if I but I couldn't faces, name it. Yeah, I, I could, could definitely do it if you showed me faces. Like, yeah, I've seen oh, you watch you that move person. The, the mouse? No. You moved the mouse. I didn't do that. I haven't. T- the mouse is where the mouse has been. There's no more mouse. <laughs> Where'd the mouse go? Why was the mouse even there? I don't know. Why did it go? Okay, we're it's gonna. Spookums. We're just gonna. Yeah, we. Spookum's haunted house. <laughs> Spookum. Oh, okay. What book world should I live in? Uh, what, where do you think I would thrive or die? Harry Potter would be pretty cool for, like, the normal person to live in. Because it's just the, the real world. That's and, boring. Yeah, but you got wizards in there, and it's not like... We're I all, think they we're might all exist. Muggles. Yeah. We're but, already all muggles. But, but if you were born and lived in the Harry Potter world, maybe you wouldn't be a muggle. Nah, we're, we're boring. We're muggles. Speak for yourself, lady. I am not boring. Where would I die? What what land would you shove me in to make me die real fast? Anything from Stephen King. No one survives those things. I don't want to go there. Please, no thanks. You got killer cars, killer dogs, killer clowns, uh, killer hotels. Was that Stephen King? No, Stephen mm-hmm. King does some good stuff too, like the Shawshank Redemption. I'm pretty sure that's Stephen King. And Green Mile? I think those are yeah. Stephen King's. Green Mile. I don't know. I don't really read them. I'm like it's 99%. If Green Mile and Shawshank are Stephen King, they're not spooky at all. They're I really know. good. The, the mo- I've seen the movie of Green Mile. But whatever. Whatever. We're getting off topic. Yeah, Gossip. we really are. <laughs> <laughs> Do I own too many books? Yes, because I have no, no space on the bookshelf. I have no. one shelf. You don't need some space. We own one shelf. Uh, we own two shelves. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, the rejection, the reject shelf. Yeah, my <laughs> shelf, because it has my JoJo stuff on it, and it you hate it. It has my stuff, too. <laughs> but I don't own too many. I need to own more. What is the weirdest book you've seen me read or judged me the most for? <sighs> hmm. Oh, oh, rip, rip. <laughs> Are you dying? Oh, no! Can you make it? Can you make it? Can you make it? Nope. Nope. I'm good. We're good. We're good here. Never mind. What's, what's the weirdest book? Uh, probably like the Narwhal and Ugly Fish book, because I'm like, why are you reading literal ch- children's books? It's a series, and they're great. I know, but you asked me which I thought was like the read the weirdest book yeah, to, for you to read, and I was like, kids' Those. books. They're Just fun. because it's kids' books, and... They're fun. I suggest everyone's reads kids' books. I don't care. <laughs> He's giving me a look. It's fine. This is a different him, judgment-free I, household. You ask me to judge you, and I get in trouble when I judge you. Correct, Fair enough. Correct, correct. I can't win here. Okay, what are your favorite books of all time? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's a very difficult question. I have to look this up because... You're gonna die. They're back. They're back. Uh, okay. You um, you're gonna have to just wing it, man. Just I know. I, I, it's, it's a book that is by a lady whose last name starts with... It's, it's white something, and it's about this kid in Japan who gets taken in by a ninja family, and it was, like, my favorite book. I, when I was in elementary school, I got it out of the school library, like, 45 times in a year, just because I loved <laughs> reading it. So, uh, it's, like, either indigo, blue, or purple fingers, because, uh, when he started out, he was in a dye shop. So his fingers were messed up from all the purple dye he used. I can just never remember which color the title actually is. Uh, love that book. The um, Night Angel books are really good. I don't read many things. Uh, <clears throat> if we're doing non-traditional literature, uh, oh. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Love it. Great books. Even though they're not technically the normal kind of book. They're a book. We're going to count them. All, all, that's, all that's, books that's are what, equal in this household. Yeah, but it's like non-traditional. It's manga. Yeah. So, fine. Well, also, this connects to my very last question. Are there any books that you would re- recommend to the booktube people? Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> specifically for who? People who really like manga? Because it's not for, like, a... Is it for an intro manga person? I mean, literally anyone can like it. It's by a dude who was literally inspired by, like, 80s music. Just about everything is a reference to some sort of... 80s band or song or like just about anything the first part is about fighting vampires with uh the meme in the the community is solar kung fu or solar karate um 
it, 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 it's nonsense in the best way possible. I love it. It's fun the whole way. It gets, you know, there are times where characters die, people, bad people win, good people lose. It's not just like straightforward, oh, here's the usual manga type stuff where the bad guy always loses, the good guy always wins, and nothing bad really happens. It's, it's fun. It's enjoyable. Anybody could like it. Are, are there any other books you'd recommend? Um, what else is on that shelf out there that I could recommend? You read some manga lately that you really loved. Yeah. Uh, remember their names? Tokyo Ghoul's fun. I'm waiting for Barnes & Noble to put out their next omnibus of that because I can't have the first two and then decide to just get the individual volumes. That's silly. Uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion is great. Even though, like, it was technically the show first, then the manga was based off of it, and the ending was kind of weird just because End of Evangelion, the movie, was weird. And we're not going to talk about most things in that because it gets pretty messed up at times. Hmm. Um, uh, Blade of the Immortals is good. That's set in, like, alternate history... Japan and like the 14 1500s and it's cool sword fights violence action I'm three volumes of like nine in and there is a bit of a romance subplot thing yeah. going on it's no it's it's the thing where no one wants to admit they have feelings for each other <laughs> so they both just deny it's a thing is it angst it's, is it the angsty it's the, the okay so the female protagonist is angsty because her father was murdered and her mother was made into a slave for people that were upset at her father's sword school so she's on a quest for vengeance to basically put the people that killed her family messed it all up yeah. in the ground she wants she wants them dead but that's kind of changed over the volumes where she's like i don't want to just outright murder i just want them to pay somehow but that could also change once we actually have the final showdown bit i'm still miles away from that though i haven't touched that series in months because i've been playing this game way too much correct i will i will attest to the playing way too much game judging that's fair but um i think the books mm -hmm. oh yeah read read the song of the lioness that, that's specifically for you Dini. <laughs> but <okay. laughs> pretty much anyone else too it's kind of like tropey and generic um female wants to be male or Not female pretends to be male because she wants to go against gender norm stereotypes and be a knight and her brother doesn't want to do that so they sort of swap roles and boy pretends well boy doesn't pretend to be anything boy pretends to be boy he gets sent to a school for wizards and stuff and learns magic uh girl pretends to be boy goes to night school and that's knight as in k-n-i-g-h-t and yeah. it's interesting it's fun it's got magic it's got romance it's got development character a lot of good stuff cool and dini needs to read it maybe we'll see but that's another the questions so before we leave how, how do you feel right now after being doing this video do you feel good you feel fine <sighs> like most things once you get into it and start doing it it's fine it's just the initial oh why am i doing this why am i here what made me do this it's just, so that's kind of like if you want to start a booktube channel and you're scared look at camera just gave me some great advice did i say my name in this video yeah you did okay i can't remember <laughs> you what introduced I, yourself i can't remember what i was doing five minutes ago isn't that sad it really we've been talking i don't know how long we've been talking for right now i didn't time it that's but, okay but thank you for joining me it's much appreciated special guest I'm not breaking I, up with you today, so that's great. I didn't really have a choice. You did have a choice. Stop no. saying that. But thank you. Please help. <laughs> thank you, and thank you all for watching.